Evie! Hey! You wanna go lay down with me? Oh, hi. <laughs> What's cracking, everybody? What are you doing? <laughs> you weirdo. What's cracking, everybody? Uh, today, I just, I need to have fun. I've had a very stressful week, so I just want to go do something fun. I'm by myself. I genuinely don't have a problem like going and doing things by myself. The issue is I just don't do it enough. I also needed a change of scenery. I've been in my room all week. I've been cleaning it all week and it's somehow still disgusting. Today, I'm gonna go thrifting. Well, I have a goal. Also, yes, I'm wearing shoes in my house because I'm about to leave, okay? If y'all don't know, my favorite app is Pinterest for a lot of reasons. It's a good place to get inspiration. It's not just for 40 year old moms and I use it every single day. I get all of my fashion inspiration from Pinterest. I wanna play Animal Crossing. <gasps> Ooh, I need to tell Jens to bring me the DS. Bring your DS with Animal Crossing, please, please. Since I get all of my fashion inspiration from Pinterest, I thought it would be fun to go thrifting and try and kind of like recreate uh, some of my favorite outfits I've found on Pinterest because um, you don't have to have a ton of money to dress really cool. Obviously fashion is also subjective. So like if you're a hype beast, you really like logos, really expensive things, you're probably not gonna like this style. It just kind of depends on who you are. Some people think you do need a lot of money to dress cool if for under, I don't even know. Y'all get what I'm saying. What I'm trying to say is that my specific style is I feel like I could find a lot of pieces for it at thrift stores. I actually went thrifting the other day and I found some things, so I might incorporate that into this video. I'm not gonna be copying outfits exactly, like I'll do my best, that's obviously the goal, because it's okay to dress like other people and get inspiration from them yes, until you oh, get your own style cute. and are able to do it on mm -hmm. your own. Just wanted to throw that out there because I feel like people think they can't do that when it's okay, it's not a big deal. I'm rambling on now, let's go to the thrift store but first fit check I feel like it looks better with the hood up uh, I have my boyfriend's hoodie that I don't know where I even I mean I got it from him but like I think he left it in my car because I like just was taking stuff in from my car and I found it and I was like he left your hoodie here and he's like I didn't even bring that I don't even know how I got this but we wearing it today then I have one of my favorite new pieces which is from Stratz Ballet uh, pants are from them as well they're really cool I really like how the fit is like I like how it bunches up more around the ankles. I really want to find some like nice just like denim jeans that bunch up like this at the thrift store because it's so hard to find jeans like that. And then I'm wearing some white docks that I was debating on getting rid of. And then I was going to until like 20 minutes ago when I got dressed and I was like, wait, the white docks would look like fire with this. So that's my fit for today. I was gonna go for my new like neutral kind of girly look, but it just wasn't really working out. So now I got this. Goodbye. I love you. It was supposed to be really snowy and rainy right now, but it's not which is a good thing. And I think that it's because of Harry Styles. So the thrift store I went to the other day, I actually found a lot of cool stuff, but now I'm like, well, do I want to go back there? Because I feel like I already found everything cool um, because it was only a few days ago. And it actually was like probably one of the only times I've actually been thrifting and found like more than one thing that I actually like because my problem is that I go to too many confinement stores. Can, is that what it's called? Is it a confinement store? It's like those thrift stores. I feel like they're more like vintage stores that go to thrift stores and like hand pick things and then like double the price and sell it at their store even though like the zipper's broken. Um, I don't know. For some reason, a lot of those stores think they're like Urban Outfitters. I think, what should I, what should I? Bro, what? in 
my shot. He's so lonely. I made it to the thrift store. This is actually the DI. I'm pretty sure this is only like a Utah and like maybe Idaho, maybe Arizona thing. It's basically like an LDS run uh, thrift store, um, but it actually is a really good thrift store because they have, they do like, they try and help people find jobs. They have other different family services. So um, this is always kind of my go-to. And I didn't realize until I passed it that there's a Sabres right next to it. So if I don't find anything here, I shall go to Savers. Let's go inside. Gotta take these because I made that mistake last time. An old man just watched me film that from his car. I wonder what he was thinking. So I'm in the men's section. This is kind of just, I don't know, it's just where I gravitate to. Um, I always have a better chance finding things in the men's section than I do the women's section. And I feel like a lot of people say that, like a lot of other girls say that, but it's because it's true. I just feel like it has more selection when it comes to my style. So I'm gonna pull up my Pinterest board. I didn't pick any like three specific outfits because I'm not trying to copy them exactly. I'm just gonna do my best and try and make some cute outfits. They're just kind of Pinterest inspired throughout the series styles. Is On God, I'm pretty sure this was my dad's. I am not even joking. I met a friend. Hi. <laughs> So little update, I found quite a few things um, and I am really just, I'm getting excited to put outfits together with them. I know I'm talking quiet, but it's because there's people here and I'm also banging to some willow, so. I met another friend. Hi, <laughs> I'm Maddie. <laughs> the deed is done. I was in there for about an hour. Now it's time to go wash everything. Uh, shout out to the two girls I met. They were super, super sweet. I love meeting people, but like it makes me so sweaty. <laughs> it's like 30 degrees outside and I, I'm sweaty. I'm gonna go wash everything and then do a haul so you guys can see what I got. Whoa. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so it's the next day. Uh, I had to stop filming yesterday because it got dark at like four. But I have all my clothes, I have them all washed. This angle is so weird. Not everything I'm gonna be wearing in these outfits is gonna be the stuff that I thrifted. And I feel like that's kind of an obvious thing. Uh, cause I didn't want to buy stuff that I didn't want to buy just so I can like have matches for it in the video, so. First thing I have to say, I love how I literally make an effort to go mess with the lighting and then I make the one on the right get into my shop, but that's okay. That's what zoom ins are for. So the first thing I got from the thrift store is this really cute, uh, like mock neck kind of tank top looking sleeveless yellow shirt. I don't know. I thought it was really cute. I think it's cute by itself. Uh, I definitely want to experiment wearing it over things because I just think it'll be cool under like long sleeve shirts and stuff. And I just paired it with my favorite jeans and then my uh, Converse Tyler the Creator Giano shoes because it has the same color of yellow. This definitely gives like 70s vibes, but I thought it was really cute. So this X outfit was inspired by this image on screen. I know it's not even like similar things. I don't know. I just like the oversized crew neck and the tan pants look. So that's kind of what I was going for. Uh, I thrifted both uh, the shirt and the pants. I just really liked the fit of everything. Thought it was nice. So I copped it. Also just paired it with my docs. So this next outfit was inspired by once again, this image that's on screen. I've been really liking the vest look. I don't know, it's not for everyone, but my boyfriend kind of started doing it. And since I'm whipped, I also kind of started doing it. And I just think it's really cute. And I just found some good inspiration pic. Oh my gosh. Um, I found some good inspiration pictures on Pinterest for vest type things. So uh, I thought this outfit was cute. I definitely need a new black beanie. This one is like skin tight on my head and I don't like it so next outfit boy oh boy is this a vintage 
the most vintage skater outfit I ever saw. Uh, so I was inspired by this photo on screen. I really liked the, I liked the shirt over the sweater type thing. So that's what I was going for. So I got that from the thrift store. Also these jeans from this thrift store. Got pretty lucky with these because they said they were a size 10. Sizes in thrift stores are always so weird. So I just kind of like ignore them because I'm usually a six. So I'm wearing the jeans that are thrifted also. Beanie that I need a new one of. Yellow sweater underneath. And then I have my Converse. This next outfit, on not my best, not my best. I will admit it's not my best. It's really not my best work. I don't know. This shirt was really long and these pants were really tight. So trying to like tuck it in all around was extremely difficult and I was struggling to breathe. Uh, but I just got this collared shirt. I just thought was good, like as a good basic. I definitely could have paired it with something better, but I've I'm working on it. Moving on, this next outfit. So I got this vest and just this plain black, uh, black shirt from the thrift store. I feel like this vest is something that would look really cute over uh, maybe like a turtleneck or something instead of just a short sleeve shirt or maybe like a hoodie. Um, but y'all know me and my vests, I love them. And then I'm just wearing some acne jeans and my docks. This next outfit, uh, I love 40 year old dad going to church button ups. I just think they're so cool. I feel like they're very versatile. I really like this outfit, but I feel like the shoes kind of is like makes it look cool and you can't see them in like all of these clips. Um, this shirt is a little bit too oversized for my preference, um, but I don't know. I still think it's fire. And then I really like all of these colors together. So yeah. Second to last outfit. We almost done here, ladies. So this next one, uh, I kind of Okay, so I used to tie my shirt in these knots all the time uh, when I was in like middle school. And so I was like, yeah, I'll do it with this shirt. But I just, I don't know. I can't pull it off as well as I used to in middle school. Um, I feel like this uh, shirt, I feel like this outfit needs like a jacket or something to complete it. Um, but I really do like this brown uh, mock neck. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I keep getting so many texts. I'm just... Uh, it's just from my siblings, but yeah. <laughs> so this next outfit, I thrifted this jacket and this is my favorite color of pink. Uh, I, this genuinely looks like something that would be sold at Urban. Um, and my laces on my shoes matches so perfectly. Uh, I just thought this outfit was really, really cute. But, um, yeah, I'm wearing my brown pants from Athens. I've heard people pronounce that differently. I don't know how it's pronounced, but I thought this jacket was super cute, really warm for the winter and perfect. And that concludes my outfits my little brother has a lot of friends over so i'm gonna end this video very quickly um i hope you enjoyed that i really did my best if you don't like my style i don't know go on damn bad <laughs> uh thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you soon go follow me on instagram and twitter if you want links down below peace out Mwah. bye little boys are really annoying <laughs> did you like my Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm.